Hey folks, it's Fernando doing another video here for more survivalists. Today I came across something kind of interesting. This is a true utility nano light, smallest flashlight in the world. Now, if you remember, I've done in the past uh, a video about at least what I believe to be back then the smallest flashlight in the world, which is this one, the um, DQG Spy. Now, this is a, a proper flashlight. It's a titanium construction. It has a, a good level of brightness. Actually, it has two levels. You have this one, I think it was like 20 lumens, and tightening it up a little bit more, it goes up to something around 200 lumens. I really did like this flashlight, and at least back then, this was the smallest flashlight that I knew of, and probably one of the smallest flashlights in the world. Now, this one is claiming to be even smaller, and by first looks, it does look smaller. Actually, yeah. No doubt about that. I do like small flashlights. I think they have um, a, a place, especially because the smaller it is, usually the more likely it is that you're going to be carrying it. Uh, I do prefer actual flashlights that use uh, standard batteries, something like the one that I have in my in my keychain, uh, uh, a through night T, you know, titanium AAA battery, you know, good levels of of um, of light there. But it's a proper flashlight. This is a little bit more of a of a gadget type of thing and I still thought it would be interesting to do an unboxing of it. I don't do lots of these but you know I <laughs> just picked it up and thought I'd show it to you guys. Let's see what it says around the box. True Utility is a brand that I'm familiar with. They do some some of these quirky EDC stuff. Some of it looks more functional than others. Some of it is not very doesn't seem to be very good to be honest but I have shown you guys their um, lighter in the past, which is actually quite good. It's pretty solid, and so far it's still working well for me. So, <laughs> I thought it was nice that it says here, smallest flashlight in the world, right? The most useful keychains, key, uh, key rings ever. Smallest flashlight in the world, but then you turn it around and it says, probably the smallest flashlight in the world. So they're already doubting their own claims. And I think they have a good shot at that. It's probably one of the smallest ones that I know of. Uh, LED, 4 lumens, 100%, 25 minutes. I guess this is runtime. It's using a LR521 batteries. These are hearing aid type of batteries. And it's supposed to be water and impact proof. British design, that's not very encouraging. British designs tend to be overly complicated and not very reliable, at least in my experience. Made in China, okay, that's to be expected. So let's actually take a look and see what we have inside. Gonna be leaving guys a link if I find it in Amazon. I'm gonna be leaving the link there below for you guys to check it out in case you're interested. Well, I'll tell you this: it is very small. That's that's for sure. So that rust there. <laughs> that's not very encouraging. There's maybe a little bit of grease. I don't know. Well, the nice thing is, yeah, it seems to be as if it has a little layer of grease. This is solid brass somewhere I read. Yeah, there is solid brass construction with a silver electroplated finish. So this is in theory brass. And it, the, one of the nice things that, that is that it has uh, three sets of, of batteries. It uses four of these batteries. So you have a, a couple spare batteries there already, which is, yeah, and there's the explanation of how you're supposed to place them. So you have a couple, so I'm guessing that there's already batteries inside. Yeah, there you go. Just twisting on it, you turn it on. Does this come loose and screwing like that? Yeah, seems to be that way. Okay, yeah, so I do see, is it magnetized or something where it's just stuck there? Okay, it was kind of stuck there to the bottom because it has a little bit of rubber piece there and you have like a, a, an o-ring clearly you have an o-ring there and the batteries go in that position so the positive goes in this direction man these are small tiny little batteries yeah and you screw it into place like so and there you have it. It's actually quite bright. Four lumens, it's... The color of the LED, it's 
cool white, almost like, you know, there's a tint of blue there, I guess. So, yeah, the, the color, I wasn't expecting anything outstanding in terms of, of light color. But it is probably the smallest flashlight in the world, very tiny. Maybe I'm going to be replacing it here in my uh, car keychain, where I have this other light. It is not overly bright either, but it does come in handy many times. You know, even though I have a ton of flashlights all over floating around, still, whenever I'm getting out of the car, I like having this one because squeezing a little bit, just avoid falling there in the garage, and it's very handy. You don't have to get anything, just squeeze it there. This one requires twisting a little bit, but it is clearly brighter. At least it seems to be side by side. Yeah, maybe these batteries are a little bit spent. Or this is just simply brighter. Comparing it to the... Man, yeah, it's so much bigger. Very small. The Nano Light. Very tiny. 25 minutes is not an impressive amount of runtime, but still it's um, much better than nothing. And for some guys, if they don't have a very small... A flashlight they're not going to be bothering with one there's really no excuse not to have something this small though in your keychain even for the guys that uh, will claim that they don't want to have something as bulky or as heavy as my sort of keychain with a ton of little things there which I know guys that do much worse than I do <laughs> this is still pretty reasonable pretty compact but this is super small I mean it's smaller than most average keys there's not really a lot of excuses not to have this one and if you do need a little bit of light this is gonna be getting you out of out of the trouble and I was just noticing that the color is not very good you know if you compare it to this one which has a, a warm you see the difference there I mean, show it to you guys you see the how different it is well, this one actually focuses quite well this is a lot of more lumens but because of the mule mounting and even there with its maximum brightness well yeah there it burns it over no question there on which one is brighter so yeah, the, the color sucks. It's, the color is nothing impressive in the in the true utility nano lights. Uh, no doubt about that. But you do have a couple spare set of batteries. It costs like five bucks or something along those lines. And it's probably yes, the smallest flashlight in the world for a very reasonable reasonable price. And you can ha have one in your keychain and forget about it until you actually need it. Which I guess it's kind of the point. Guys, that's gonna be all for now. Remember to subscribe. My books are available there below: Bugging Out and Relocating and the Modern Survival Manual, which by the way is in sale right now in in Amazon. So check it out if you haven't bought it yet, folks. Take care. Have a great day. See you on our next video.